Nobody likes hearing this. Work for free? Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome again to my How to Become a Comic Book Artist series. And what part are we on now? Is it my friend Zed? Part six. Part six. We are part six, and this part is all about, as you can tell from the title, working in the trenches. What does that mean? Do I actually have to work in a trench? The answer is no. That was symbolism, my friends. What am I talking about here? Working in the trenches really means, nobody likes hearing this, work for free? Work for free. Why do we gotta work for free? I got bills to pay. Work for free. Could you pay me in advance? <laughs> if you are willing to work for free, if you are willing to work for a lower salary rate, okay, at the beginning, I'm not talking for established professionals here. I'm talking at the beginning, if you are starting out. If you're willing to work for free, you work hard, you do a good job, what does it show to the bigger companies? One, that you, you really love drawing comics. Number two, it shows that you're able to keep a deadline. It shows that you could able to put together a really good comic book on time. You are not a bad person, you're a good person because you're able to work with this writer and hopefully that writer will give you a recommendation, right? And what if this writer goes on to bigger things? You could go along with them at the same time. Doesn't hurt to work for free. The fact is you're probably at home working for free anyways on your own stuff. You might as well get published. If you can get published, get published, and that will get your foot in the door to these bigger companies later on where you can start making money. But what if you don't find an artist or find a writer? Or you don't like the particular writer's story? Hey, you know, we have something called the internet where it's very easy to post your stuff online. And that's a great way to show editors, hey, I can do a monthly comic book. Why don't you post a page every single day. They say a page a day keeps the editor away, right? Post a page every single day and then get feedback from the editors, right? And they could follow you, they could see that you are improving, they could see that you are doing quality work, that will get your foot in the door, that will get you more on the fast track, and that will get you drawing comics quicker, okay? Don't be afraid to work for free, and not only that, you will establish yourself a following. And I will actually talk about that in the last video where I talk about being marketable, okay? So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about this particular topic or any other topic, please ask me below. Please follow me. Uh, please also subscribe to my channel somewhere over here. Please follow me on social media, at Box Office Artist. And my name is James, I'm the Box Office Artist, and I'm here to say, keep drawing.